Okay, here I am. <laughs> Word of truth, JD Nyjah. Word of truth. What? What? W O T. Word of truth. What? Say captain. Say what? Say captain. Say what? Say captain. Say what you want. That's um, <clears throat> Captain Sensible from the early 80s. Um, the lead guitarist for The Damned. So we're talking about Truth Emet. Or in the Paleo Hebrew, a moth. A <laughs> M A T H. Emet Amoth. I just thought of that right now. I'm like, truth. Um, Bakar Amoth. <laughs> uh, he's one of the guys that um, stands against word of truth. All right. So I was going through scriptures on truth. We're talking about lies. You know what? You know what I find interesting is... Um, I try and stay on the positive side of messages instead of going to the lying side and, and talking about God hates lies. A liar is an abomination. And you know what I mean? I, I stay on the, I try and for some reason the Lord directs me that way. I stay on this side of, um, let's talk about the goodness. Let's talk about the, the sweetness and not the um, not the negative Hosea talks about so all the prophets they talk about <clears throat> these lies the, the the failure of lies the Destruction brought on by lies. And I can say straight up, <clears throat> J.D. Nyjah has been shredded by liars. Shredded. For some strange reason, <clears throat> I must have been quite a liar in one of my other lives or something. Because, um, I'm getting I'm getting major payback judgment on um I had to, I've had to obviously had to learn the hard way about lying and uh, when you think of my namesake Adonijah he 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 was he would lie to himself. <clears throat> If you go back and read the story, Adonijah, it's, I think it's in Chronicles. It's not hard to find. It's right there when Solomon, you just have to pull up Google and ask um, the end of David's reign or the, the beginning of Solomon's reign. It's right in between there when the kingdom was being passed from David to Solomon and Adonijah got in the way and had to be <clears throat> put down, <laughs> had to be put down like a dog, like the dog he was. <laughs> Truth, it's a bitch. Uh, four one. Word of truth, JD Nyjah. Coffee with JD Nyjah. <clears throat> Fucking practically raining in California, JD Nyjah. Just miserable mist everywhere. It's like trying not to let it get me down. <clears throat> oh, let me put on my, my beads. Heavenly Father, bless this message. Bring your truth into the conversation. There's enough lies out there. You can find lies anywhere, <clears throat> but you can 
find the word of truth here with J.D. Nyjah. Let it be known throughout the land. Amen. No knowledge of God in the land. <coughs> Fuck it. No knowledge of God in the land. Why would it say there's no knowledge of God in the land having to do with truth? Well, if you knew God, you would know that telling the truth is so important that you wouldn't, you wouldn't be lying. It's funny because, okay, this is where, this is where we go into the, uh, the, where the spirit versus the carnal, where the rubber meets the road. <clears throat> no knowledge of God in the land. So if you know God and you know that he's in control and he has all the power, and he's sovereign, and he can do whatever the he wants. And he tells you not to lie. What if you're gonna if you're if you're trying to protect yourself in this stupid ass snow globe, this 3D junkyard, you're missing the point because this this isn't it. The spirit is where it's at. You got to go where, uh, where the fruit future is. There's no future here. So lying, basically, if I could put it in a way that's understandable, I mean, uh, words don't convey the full meaning of what it is to stand in the spirit and go, you know what? I, I could tell you just about anything because... It might be embarrassing. It might it might be weird, but you know what? There's nothing new under the sun. I could say all kinds of crazy stuff right now, and all it's going to do is make a, a liar go, "Oh, good, I have something to to talk about about him." Instead of going, "Yeah, people do that. Yeah, people are like that. Yeah, a lot of people do that." I'm not molesting children. I'm not doing sh sick shit like that. Um. What other crazy thing? I'm not dressing up as a, a woman and and going and being with other men, or um, I'm not. Uh, what other things are just diabolical? I don't. I'm not going around murdering people and putting them in ditches or anything like that. But I could tell you things that you'd go, "Ooh, freaky." <laughs> Um, that I have done or, or might do again. Who knows? But um, I could say that I've thought of killing people. <clears throat> I could say I've thought of doing some of these things in some sick way. The devil was on me or something. I don't know. But I can say truthfully that I didn't. But the point, of, what, the point I'm trying to make is even if I did murder someone and throw them in a ditch, um, as long as I'm not telling someone who's going to take my freedom away or if I don't feel guilty about it, if I feel guilty about it and I did, I did wrong, I would probably have to, my spirit would say, you need to tell the truth. But, um, that's where the conscience comes in. It's like, are you going to be honest? Did you like this guy that shot all these people? He writes this whole manifesto says, I, I, I'm going to start a race war. I'm going to, I, I'm, I'm on these comment boards. I'm glad you people understand. I'm telling you the truth. I, I think white people need to be the rulers, whatever he was saying in his manifesto. And then he goes and, and shoots all these people and kills them and then pleads not guilty. Yeah, I did it. <laughs> I fucking A did it. That's, that's, see, that's the kind of cuckoo-ness that just, just
I'm not going to go into it anymore. I'm gonna, let's get back to the Bible. Um, hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel, for the Lord has a controversy with the inhabitants of the land because there is no truth, <laughs> no mercy, nor knowledge of God in the land. And that's where it goes back to um, when we were reading about Emet or Amoth in the Paleo-Hebrew, the Lashon Kodash, um, this truth, this Emet. A moth. Um, you can't, you can't be forgiven, and there can't be mercy unless you ask God and say, "Lord, why did I put that person in a ditch? I feel fucking awful now." And you come clean, and you ask for forgiveness, and you go to the authorities and go, "I was so mad, I fucking put him in a ditch." I'm sorry. All I can say is I, I, I fucked up, right? But I did it. And this is why I did it. And it's it's no excuse. You know what I'm saying? It's like... I would rather have someone do a bunch of wickedness to me and tell me the truth than lie. Um, by swearing and lying and killing and stealing... <laughs> and committing adultery, they break out and blood touches blood. Therefore shall the land mourn and everyone that dwell therein shall languish. And that's what's happening to me now. I'm languishing in this cesspool of lies. I'm, I have no, I have nothing to give to this shithole anymore. And that's what the Bible's saying right there. Therefore shall the land mourn. It's 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 just sadness. Look at it's it's yeah, everything's dark, dismal, depressing. It's it's everyone that dwelleth therein shall languish with the beasts of the field and with the fowls of the heaven, yea, the fishes of the sea. Also shall be taken away. So what, what's going on in California right now? I saw a dead pelican this week. I was taking my walk. Fucking dead pelican. I'm like. Motherfuckers you know. So um. Dolphin. There was a story. There was a. Um, drone footage of a dolphin. With the baby dolphin. On top of the. Dolphin's head. And the other dolphins were following this mother dolphin that was swimming around with the dead baby on its head. And um, it's a reminder that these animals, especially the dolphin, you know how close we are to the dolphins? We're closer to dolphins than we are to monkeys. Monkeys don't have any love. Monkeys are vicious. To say that we came from monkeys is just whack. We're more like dolphins than we are like monkeys. Believe me, I know the dolphins. Sad shit, dolphins, fish, that's what this is talking about. This place is going to fucking hell. Slock you. Yea, let no man strive nor reprove another, for thy people are as they that strive with the priest. Ah, ouch. <sighs> so you, you get that one, Jay Hall? <laughs> you're the only one here, practically. From what I can tell, you're the only one really here. Because you're actually following the messages, and you're um, you're seeing how this, how these things I'm saying are true. Because I'll say it in a message, but you, you can't hear it unless you follow. You gotta follow. The Lord said, "Follow me." I. <laughs> that's why. That's why it's funny when you um, 
when you think of Facebook and I'm following them, I'm following them. Who are you following? <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. What's it say? Let Yet let no man strive nor reprove another for the people are as they that strive with the priest. Let's see what it says about strive with the priest. That's too much. There's people that lay charge against the priest. Ouch. <laughs> no wonder I'm depressed. <laughs> oh, hallelujah, Lord. Help me. Um, let's go back to Psalms. There's always beauty there. Um, Psalm 15.2. Abiding in God's Tabernacle, a Psalm of David. Lord, Psalm 15, Abiding in God's Tabernacle, a Psalm of David. Lord, who shall abide in thy tabernacle? Who, who, who shall dwell in thy holy hill? Who, who, who? He that walketh uprightly and worketh righteousness and speaketh the truth in his heart. He that backbiteth not with his tongue, nor doeth evil to his neighbor, nor taketh up a reproach against his neighbor. Guilty. Fuck, man. My neighbors. I, I love my neighbors. No. <laughs> I've had some really... Funky neighbors really testing my spirit. In those eyes, a vile person is condemned, but he honoreth them that fear the Lord. He that sweareth to his own hurt and changeth not. He that sweareth to his own hurt. What's that mean? I swear to God. I swear to Yahweh. I hate these lying GMS guys. I, I, I'm... It kills my heart to say it, but I hate these fuckers. That's what that means. The Lord's going, dude, really? You have hate in your heart? Yep. You know I do, Lord. I don't like liars. And these guys are lying to people, and they think that they're funny, and they're not funny. He that putteth not out his money to usury, nor taketh reward against the innocent, he that doeth these things shall never... Be moved. Um, you don't rip people off. You don't. Exploit people. All right. Yeah. So. Um, I went with this woman that. <laughs> has torn my soul out. I went with her up to. Um. Uh, What's it called? Um, Sebastopol. And um, part of her family's in Hel Heldsburg, Hel Heldsburg, whatever, California. And the guy, um, the family member, the dude, he had a lot going on money-wise. And um, part of it was his big heart and part of it was um, fear and part of it was um, wanted to take care of his family. I don't know the whole mix, but I can, I feel, I felt something a little off just because I know, um, my friend and I know the circle she runs in. So you can't always, it's not really always evident, um, with people that, that I mean, I'm, I'm not putting them down. I'm just saying it was interesting um, I, I definitely get the feeling he's exploiting people, but he's also helping a lot of people. So there's a weird balance there where, um, you give, you give and give and give, but then that gives you the, um, thought process in your head that you can 
take over here because you've given over here. You know what I mean? I've been there. I've, I've done that. It's like, well, I, I do so much. I should be able to do this. And it always comes back and bites you in the, in the ass when you realize you can't. Okay. I open to this. Huh? Um, Jesus is the way, the truth and the life. Uh, John, I'm surprised this one didn't come up in that, uh, probably did. I just didn't write it down. Thomas said unto him, Lord, we know not whether, well, where you goeth and how can we know the way? Where, where are you going, Lord? And can you point us to the path? Right. Thomas said, what? We don't know where you're going in, in, and wherever you're going, um, we might not see you. Can you point us to the path? Right. Thomas said, Lord, we know not where you goest, and how can we know the way? And how wish I said unto him, I am the way. Maybe because I pause, <laughs> maybe because of a Salah, I pause and take, take time to dig it. Um, that my messages, but I don't want to, I don't want to hurry. I don't want to rush. I'm, I'm not in any hurry. It's raining out there. I can't even do what I'm supposed to do, even though I have something to do. <laughs> it's like pretty, pretty cockamaka out there for gardening. Um, so which way do I go and, and where are you going? And he said, dude, I am the way I am the path. I am the truth and I am the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. So, can you see the, um, the hurt, the, the misdirection, the, um, the pain that someone who knows this would go through if they're being told your path is just Sperm from another dude. What? What? It's fucking confusion at the highest level. It's like... You're telling me... Joseph's sperm created the truth, the way, and the life? That is like... Jesus said unto him, How shall I said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. If you had known me, you would have known my Father also, and from henceforth you know him and have seen him. Um, let's go to um, the truth. B, 6B, is in um, John 1, 4. A lot of John. John 1, 4. Let's see. It's probably where at the beginning where he's like, in the word, in the beginning was the word, right? In the beginning was the word, and the word was truth, and he was truth. Um, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. The same was in the beginning with God, all things that were made by him and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. Okay, that's, that's that. We, we kind of know that one. Anyhow, um, maybe one more. Well, I, I have some more John here anyway. I think John knew these things because he talks about the true vine and um, words of warning. Ah, let's see what how much time I got. Damn, I must go, do. I move as slow as Tahar. Man, I try and listen to, to Tahar's messages, and it's like 
I get so damn anxious because he's. And he pauses for like 20 seconds. You're like, did my phone go off? <laughs> I hope I'm not that frustrated. I'm like, I can't even listen to, to Har anymore. He's so old and slow. It's like the Lord is like binding up his mouth or something. I'm probably just going to do three and then call it a day. Three, three half hours. Because I want to dig into this a little bit more. And if, if you're here, you're here. If not, I'm just putting it down for posterity so that when, when the time comes, the Lord will go, way to go. Don't, don't cut me off. Give me all the time I need. And, um, an hour and a half a day, not that much. Um, 16, 13 words of warning. Sixteen, thirteen. How be it when he, the spirit of truth, how be it when he, the spirit of truth has come, he will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak, and he will show you things to come. Right? When he comes, he will bring you into all truth. The spirit of truth. Not the spirit of lies. Not the spirit of deception. Not the spirit of murder. Let's see. See the animals? There's animal stories just about every day now. It's really, this poor lion has nowhere to go. He's looking for a place. Anyway, I'll come back. Going deeper. <laughs> Was that funny? I was talking about, hey, J.D. Nigel, stop picking your nose. And then it, it, somehow they got that shot right there of me with my... <laughs> <laughs> going deeper. I'm surprised no one said, dude, is your brain all right? <laughs> um, all right. Well, you know what? I think I'm going to close out and read the paper. You get the idea. Don't lie. If you have to lie, it better be something serious. And you might not want to hold on to that lie. You might not, you might realize holding on to that lie is is more dangerous than just telling the truth. JD Nigel, word of truth. See you tomorrow. I'm out. <laughs>